Hello, welcome back to Wild Frost. We're back again to defeat the foes of our past, aka the fucking. Hey, where's my. Hello? Ah, oh, here it is. The fucking Blunky. I don't think he's gonna be that bad. Uh, probably. I just have to crown a snow cake, I think, to win this. So, let's get to it, shall we? I don't actually remember. I think it was shop prices are up, right? That's what the new one is. Oh no, it's reduced enemy wave bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Companions become injured and enemies have charms. So we'll be unlocking this one here. I assume that it's going to scale up, right? Because this one unlocks at five, but... Oh wait, it requires a victory with six. Maybe I'll unlock two here. Three, four, six. Yeah, maybe I'll get both of these. But I have a feeling they're not going to let me. I just, based on the fact that only one of them's lit up. Anyway, let's get it, shall we? Oh. I like... I kind of like this 8 damage guy, but he's probably not great. Well, it's a reduced enemy wave bell, too. It's time to start picking. Uh, you know, we gotta be a little more choosy. Although Smackback doesn't play well with Spike, so we can play Bushu here, perhaps. Or, I kind of want to play a little Gazi. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, let's get it. Hey, you guys liking the beta so far? I am digging it. I have not streamed this game yet. This is Monday when you're hearing this. I will probably be playing Wild Frost tonight. I'll make a YouTube post about it if you want to come hang out on the stream. Some people uh, may not even know that I stream. I do have to remember to tell people. Uh, five nights a week, there's a link in the description. I am live playing... Uh, who knows? I don't actually know what I'm playing right now. Probably Wild Frost, actually, with this update, to be fair. It's, uh, it's a good time. Come hang out. If you wanna. Four... It's three, four. I can't quite kill this Grouchy, I don't think. Four, three. I'm like one off always. Well, I can't kill it and the other one, I should say. So. I think we'll do this. So yeah, I, uh, I'm digging this so far. I'll be more... It, it's early to tell. I don't know exactly how I feel about the, the new beta yet, because I don't have all the bells unlocked, which is why I'm probably going to sit down and just grind it out. And, uh, you know, see what I feel. I think it's going to be fun. I'm excited about it because I'm excited to have what looks like some really hard shit to do in this game. Max Bell wins look like they're going to be tough, but I've stayed spoiler free. The people have been talking about it in my Discord, what's going on, and they've been posting their runs and all that. And unfortunately, I've just not been reading because I want to keep myself uh, as spoiler free as possible here. Three, three, four... I can take a three kill here, right? You hit, deal three, three here, you hit, heal, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a three kill. It should be. Three, three, four is ten. Ooh, I didn't see that plus one there. Hmm, thankfully I wasn't off by one. I would have probably not played that if it was closer, though. I would have looked closer. I was a lot of HP. 59 gold, not great. Oh, definitely go bottom path here. God, I want to go to Charms, but I cannot. Groff? Oh yeah, we're this clan. I've been playing so much snow uh, in that first combat, I was thinking I was snow dwellers. I am... I am these guys. I don't know. I kind of want to just play Groff. I like Groff, but I, I kind of think this unit is not good. Very swingy. This unit's either like solo carrying your run or awful. Very little in between. Yeah, I'm going to take it. It's hard to play, but I'm sure we can work it out. Need to pick up a few summon cards, and then... I don't know, I mean, ideally we just pull the bird, right? We can play B-Pop, but the classic problem... This is what I always talk about when I talk about stuff like this. Oh, we got the bird, cool. Uh, Groff... Is, th this clan has a like fundamental flaw in the way that it's designed, which is just that the, the archetypes don't talk to each other, right? Trigger when an ally is sacrificed. Cool. B-Pop Mask uh, is... Uh, you can't actually read the card. Here it is. When destroyed, apply for Overburn to the attacker, which means that if you're sacrificing this, you are not getting the value. It's just this... It's a weird mismatch that's easily fixed by just making B-Pop say, like, when destroyed, apply for Overburn to the front enemy. But that's not great either, because... You would like it to apply it to enemies behind as well, but I would be willing to trade it so that the archetypes would talk to each other, I think. I don't know, it's a tough call. What do you think? 
I think I go... 3 damage porcupine, 2 damage bird. And that's a 2 kill. It's it's hard to really make make perfect sense, but I think it's fine to nerf B-Pop to widen its usefulness. That's my stance. It's fine. I'm just gonna go... I think I'm picking off the Mimic here, although I need to be less scared of this. The spawn here isn't perfect, of course, but... I'll survive. You go 5-5-4, five, five, you could go 5-5-4, five, five, probably 5-5-4 five, five, like this is best. And then I'll just kill the Mimic next turn. The money output should be the same. If I'm not mistaken. Hmm. 3-4... Uh, the problem is the teeth. If it weren't for the teeth, I would just kill the Ice Lantern here. And I would end up taking less damage. But, yeah. The teeth there make it not ideal. Okay. Not too shabby here, I think. I'm okay with the position. Well, I will be. Shortly, anyway. Go, Jun Jun. Jun Jun, you have a very important mission. You must die. Uh, later, though, because I have to kill Bird first. You have to be on top of your sacrifice efficiency. We gotta be sure we're getting max value. Mm, I'm getting a 2 kill anyway. Technically, I should kill Jun Jun and then Bird, because I could then kill Jun Jun this turn. Yeah, actually, not even technically. Actually, I just made a mistake. I should kill both of these units here, but it doesn't make a big difference, so I think I will let it slide. My bird is 6 damage. All is well. Or well enough. Just don't do anything ridiculous here. I Realistically, I should just move my hero out of the way, right? That's the answer here. Just to be safe, I should position like this. There's no reason to leave yourself in danger. I don't see one anyway. Like, why make things scary when I could just make them not scary, you see? It's a, it's a pretty easy conundrum. I don't think I would ever go to the Charm Merchant here. I don't care how much money I have, the crowns are too important still. Yeah, Snow Cake, perfect. I need that for the Blunkster. What do you got? In the Travelers today. You can never show me something I like. Devacrow might actually just be my least favorite unit in the game. I hate this unit so much. I don't ask me why. It's a very, it's a personal bias. I just think he's so bad. I've lost like, I lost like three runs in a row. Not like back to back, but three runs where I played Devacrow, I lost. So I just don't like him. I think he's really stinky. But he has the highest health of these units, so he's coming along. Doubtful that I'll play him. Tigris Mask? I also hate Tigris Mask. I just, I really don't like anything in this clan. I have to tell you, that's what I'm realizing. I hate it all. Cloudberry Charm? Okay. I don't really care for that. I want to spend more, so I guess I'll buy another charm, because I'm not fighting the final boss anyway. Uh, but that doesn't change the fact that I need to buy a crown. I'm good. I'm down to clown, or down to crown here, if you will. I... Uh, what's wrong with me? Can someone uh, speak with me? What is it? What have I done? Why have I become this way? What happened? Why can't I remember to put crowns on my units anymore? Make it make sense. Uh, Cloudberry Charm of Groff, I can see being pretty nice here. Why do I... It's, like, very consistent that I'm forgetting this first crown. I gotta work on it. I need to change and grow as a person. Hey, what'd they do to Baby Snow, though? The problem with Groff here is that Groff actually just can't do anything meaningful. I fear. You have to play it in the order that I'm playing it here so that I can actually sacrifice this Jun Jun. Because if you don't... 
Uh, if you don't play Junjun there, you're gonna be on two Tar Blades if you kill the guy and then play Junjun. It's a very minor, but it matters. Yuck. I have to take three here, it's fine. I'm putting the Winter Worm on ice. This is why I put the Restore 2 Health on Kale for Groff. I had a feeling I might end up needing it in this fight. Oh, I could play... Hey, look, B-Pop. This is where if you nerf B-Pop, it would be worse, right? Because you can play B-Pop to kill Snoof, who you wouldn't normally be able to kill here. It has its uses, for sure. And they did it to themselves, which means that the turn timer doesn't count down. Very nice. You did this. And now Groff barrels through Boozle because I have Bird. Barrels through Boozle because I have Bird. Buh. Oh, hey, 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 don't you do that to me. I freeze Boozle, I think. I'm just gonna maximize the usage of my smackback, and by that I mean I'm gonna be really scared for the rest of this run. You go kill Boozle. Uh, this is- there's no more enemies. This is it. I would like to Tarblade Bird next turn, and then I'm gonna have Groff kill Winterworm, so I'm gonna get myself down to just bam here. I can't wait four turns, I don't think. Can I? Maybe I can. I could Blizzard Bottle here. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, but the problem is that my bird dies, and then how do I finish this fight? I don't know. I think it's not right. I think the play here is this. And then I'm gonna... Blizzard Bottle Bam to give myself another turn. Oh, that's silly. Because my hero has Apply Snow. I wasted that. Oh well. And then we're gonna kill our bird. Kill Winter Worm. Our bird takes the grouchy hit. Probably like this. And I want to damage grouchy. Strangely. And then we go here, bird hits, and then we sacrifice bird. But can I get a two kill here? No, I'm not gonna fuck around. Get me out of here. Acceptable. It's like, ah, uh, you know, fighting that one out and spending minutes of my time trying to find five more gold here when I have 155. I save money. I don't have to be like that. <laughs> I don't have to be like that. Yeah, it's a pretty... You don't have to put it like that. Uh, Spark Charm is... bad. I don't want it. Block Charm? I think I'll just take the Redraw Bell Counter. It's good in this clan. I just get to pick whatever path I want. Look at this. You know what's really weird about this? I guess it would have to generate in the shop. This pathway just doesn't have a spot for the... the vase, so it would have to go to the shop. My crown bird. What's coming up here? Muncher... W Muncher in this deck is bad, I think, because tar blades are important to be able to cast Sacrifice. So I guess I'm gonna duplicate, and I'm just gonna grab another snow cake, because to be honest with you, you can't have too many snow cakes. I think if you asked me what's the most consistently good card in the game, it's probably snow cake, right? Like, every card is pretty good, and I know I probably rated it pretty high on my tier list, but, like, Snowcake is really broken. People have pointed out something I've overlooked in the past, which is that Shade Wisp is a great way to generate uh, one health sacrifices, which I agree. Grab a Charm. I'll probably pick up Blank Mask, too, and just grab a second Groff. Chuckle Charm? Cool. It's fine. If you buy the Charm first there, I think maybe you play... You just buy, you play for as many charms as you can take, but I didn't. I'll take Blank Mask, and we should just rocket through this run now. I think this one should just be a crank. 
We, I haven't had a run like this in a while, I feel like. I haven't had anything super easy. Like, since the beta reset, sure. But we've been doing the mastery challenge lately. We've been fighting some real fucking trials and tribulations out here. The plus one from Will Gazi changes a lot of breakpoints, which is nice. I hit this guy down to six, and then it's a three kill. Like so. Oh, and the sacrifice, or the, the copy drop will heal through the sacrifice damage. Nice. I never have to deal with that. Cool. I have a second snow cake. Yeah, I can just press bell. I was gonna say I should press the enemy bell here and then play snow cake, but I have another copy. I'll hit bird. I don't mind Lil Gazi's turn being wasted. They can bring in the nut guy. I mean, they're all nut guys. Uh, the one. I don't know how to describe him. The guy who has teeth. Prickle, that's the name. They could bring that guy in and I would be unhappy. But they didn't. We're gonna position here. Wipe him out. Farewell to my enemies. Yeah, I mean, I, as long as I get the setup correct, which I basically can't fuck up here, well, shouldn't be able to fuck up here. I should just steamroll every fight with double Groff plus little Gazi. I know what you're thinking. Uh, shouldn't I be greeting for money here? And the answer is, I don't know, maybe. I'm, I'm, maybe I'm turning over a new leaf. I don't know if I like money anymore. It's kind of scary. Who am I? I, I don't know. Oh, you're dead. I was gonna say, is that Pecan hitting me? Sure isn't. Who am I anymore if I don't like money? Uh, who am I to say? Maybe I've lost myself somewhere along the way. This journey has changed me. I don't like money anymore. I, don't, I am ambivalent towards money. Uh, 24 gold? Hmm. Curious. Interesting, perhaps you would say. Mega Mimic, Berry Blade. Mega Mimic's good. It's good to have a... Uh, clunkers are great for sacrifices. And it combos well with the double Groff. End transmission. Give me charm. Charm me. No one charm. Hey, I can't put this on my unit. Well, I mean, maybe I can. Can I? Huh, I can. I was just looking for charms to make Groff look better. Oh yeah, let me take GG's Gizmo here. Now that's a good offer. GG's Gizmo and Moko Totem. Thanks, buddy. You rotten hell. When they come for you, I will say nothing. I will laugh. And I will laugh and I will laugh. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, oh no, they came for me and I said nothing. I don't like that. It's okay, we have Smackback Snow so we can return the Gromble to normalcy. I want to get a little Gazi down because 24 is a better number than uh, 20 or 20, yeah. I think we split up here, gang. I want this Bigfoot dead. The problem here is that I don't have another sacrifice card. I have a unit I can sacrifice, I just don't have the card for it. That's okay. I'm locking this Gromble up. He's going away for a long time for crime. He's done so much crime. Definitely Sunburst 2 2 to kill the B Pop here, so that my bird is at. If you use Tarblade, you need to. two turns to kill the bird. I want to kill bird now. Because now I go three damage, I kill two of yous. Misplay for sure, I should have killed the top Gromble. There is no reason to leave it alive. The reason is that I've reclined back in my chair and I am in gamer mode. I'm in the flow state right now, you can't disrupt me. I'll lose everything if I get knocked out of the flow. I think it's... what, it's Mega Mimic here? I kinda wish I just had regular Mimic and not Mega Mimic, but... I guess you can't be choosy. Kill the Goblin, cause I like four dollars. No wait, I've changed myself, I don't like four dollars anymore. 
No, wait, it's not true. I beat the allegations. I hate money. Yeah, Mega Mimic just doesn't fit on my board, does it? Doesn't seem like it. Moomlin B-Pop. It fixes every problem that Sacrifice decks have. Uh, easy to kill target, and it doesn't cost me a turn to play. Incredible. It's actually so nuts. I hate that I just keep not being able to Shade Wisp. Because here's, here's the problem. I'll show it to you if you've never seen it. Shade Wisp always puts the enemy in front. There's nothing you can do about it. So, Shade Wisp uh, just does nothing there, sadly. The solution is to complain. If I draw a Blizzard Bottle plus three Tar Blades, I have Lethal. Oh, this works too. Uh, it's... Fine. How do I do this? 612, 510, 612. I never have a multi kill, it's fine. The unfortunate thing is that I'm getting a kill pre pre combat. Oh, uh, just Blizzard Bottle. Yeah. I almost said pre relentless. What game am I playing? Where the hell am I? What is going on here? Oh, interesting that the sacrifice or the copy goes first. Does the copy just always go first? I think that the trigger order is in order of placement, so the copy always goes first. That's interesting. I don't want another... Oh, I could get another B-pop, actually. That's really good. A copy of Noomlin B-pop is good. The reason I'm noticing that is because I put I distinctly or deliberately put that unit in the back so that it would go second. Uh, because I wanted it to be the one at risk of dying if anything happened. Uh, because If anything teeth-related happened there, which it shouldn't, but there was a world where it would. The world is like, I play... The, the teeth problem there is, if I let my hero get hit by Pawpaw, then it's at two, and then the sacrifice one hitting twice will go uh, and take two four, which is six, which kills. Can't believe it gave me Sun Charm. I don't want this shit. What am I supposed to do with Sun Charm? What a shame. At least it gave me Pomegranate Charm. That one's cool. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother putting it on Devacro. He's dead to crow. Eh, never mind. I would like to retract my statement and issue a, a formal apology. I should play Snowcake turn one here. Like, I should just, I should crown Snowcake and we should make life easy. Oh, this is Blank Mask. I thought this was the other one. I don't know why I would think that, because it has never been the other one, but I thought it was. Yeah. Also, I had a feeling I would just draw Snowcake. So we have 4, 8, 12, 16 Barrage. Four hits on old Crunky. I think I'm actually going to lock this spike wall up. I'm going to Tarblade my bird now so it starts counting down. And then I'm going to put the spike wall on ice, I believe. Is that right? Maybe not. Maybe I just Tarblade redraw. Probably, because I can just kill it this way. Tarblade into Tarblade. Or like a Blizzard Bottle. Yeah, I really don't want to play Tarblade here, actually, on Spike Wall. Because I would like to play B-Pop into Tarblade next turn. Yeah, this is a little bit of a slaughter now. Because it goes... It's gonna phase Crunker, and that's fine. So it goes B-Pop, Tarblade. Imagine I could get a Numlin Tarblade here. And then draw and kill, and you could just go forever. Numlin Biscuit would be interesting. Wouldn't it? Sadly, I killed pre-combat, but that's okay. Yuck. How do I fix this? Well, first and foremost, I kill the top row. That part's easy. Also very glad for the, the minus one redraw bell here. Glad to have it. Redraw. It's a five coming out of Krunker.
Bird should die. I see it. Bird dies here. I let it tank the bomb. Or I could do it like this. My hero tanks the bomb, goes to four. Either way, I don't think it matters much. This is fine. And then I'm... I'm down to just be rid of the spike wall completely. Krunker is, uh, he's having a bad go of it here, I'm not gonna lie to you. He's really not doing a great job for himself. Krunker is self-destructive. Krunker, seek help. It doesn't have to be like this, buddy. There's resources out there in the world for you. It'll get better. It's, tar it's just Tarblade Depop, yeah. Because I think it should reset up to four, yeah. Goodbye, Krunker. I'll see you in the next life. Balance charm, battle charm, battle charm for sure. Probably like plus one card draw. Yeah, as I have been very health bell pilled lately, but plus one card draw is pretty good. I think health bell is a little better. It's basically like buying another turn or two for your hero to live, and you survive worst cases. But you know, I can chill here. Oh yeah, and now we take Snowball Charm and then this game is over. Very nice, very nice. I'll take Frost Hand Charm too, why not? This is the power of the game giving me a nice early Chuckle Charm. I get to pass into a bunch of charms and become unkillable. Look at this Groff. Pop off. Anything else here? Not really. Uh, maybe, I, I think I just give Lil Gazi the boot. Because I don't really want to play that unit anymore. I would much rather just play a sacrifice right away. So I think I'll play Sunburst 2 too. And we'll just kill our bird turn 1. Well, I can keep Lil Gazi in, I suppose, just in case. But I doubt I'm ever gonna... No, you know, it's not, it's not worth it. Because think about what this deck wants to do. In a perfect world, I'm playing B-Pop and then Tarblade. And then I'm playing B-Pop and then Tarblade. And then I'm playing a sacrifice onto my bird. And then I'm redrawing. That's the perfect turn. Lil Gazi never fits into that equation. I don't believe anyway. Uh, pardon me? There we go. It should be like this. Because when I ding the bell and bring in more enemies, I'll probably be able to kill. Oh, uh. Okay. Uh, sure. Right, right on. You do, you do you, game. Give me a Shade Wisp. I need a copy. Actually, I have plenty of things to sacrifice. Come to think of it. Give me the bell. Yeah, the crawler's a pain. It always is. I need to be rid of these snow cakes, I think. I'm pretty sure I just spend two turns playing Snowcake so I never have to look at this card again. Not this sweater, not this cardigan, this card again. You can see the difference, right? A card cardigan's a sweater, right? I'm not very uh, worldly when it comes to clothing. Go get him, Burster. Goodbye, my friend. So long, champ. I'll donk the bell. We'll just pull him in and we'll kill the everything here. There's no crawler? Wait, there can be no crawler in this fight? There's variants in this fight? Man, how have I played this game for 300 hours and I've never noticed variants in this fight? That's crazy. I just did not know that this fight... I thought it always had a crawler on that spot. Huh. What do you know? Maybe, is there variants on every fight? There might be. The thing, originally, I thought that there were different versions of each fight. 
how I thought it worked. Specifically, I thought this about the Spice Apes, aka King Moko's fight. I thought that how it worked was sometimes you fought a variant with Grog Grumps and sometimes you fought a variant with Makoko Pepper Witch. But someone pointed out to me that it's actually... Uh, it's actually just that any enemies can spawn, there's not variants, it's just weird. But I was very shocked to learn that it didn't work how I thought it did. The sunburst due to my bird here. It doesn't really matter how you go about it, I'm just wasting turns. I could press the bell and then draw for B-pop, but who cares, right? I guess I care, because I could have finished the fight two turns, or one turn sooner, really. It matters for my minimal turns taken in play. But yeah, there is just- I think there might just be variants on every fight. Although some fights are guaranteed, right? right? Like, Grombles are guaranteed. The That fight is always the same. So maybe I don't know things. Who knows? This fight, this final boss here, is guaranteed. It's guaranteed to be fucking over. I could play Sheep Hopper. This unit isn't terrible. Also, uh, it appears that the hover over is broken. I'm no, I, I see it now. I thought it was just because of where things were, but no, all of the, all the turn icons are in the middle of the unit. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure someone's already bug reported that. I could pick Sheep Hopper here, but here's the thing, and this is something that I you have to realize. Why? Why would I take it? There is no purpose. I'm only taking it because it's cool to take a card that I don't normally take. Things would have to be rather dire for that card to be playable. Or, like, useful, I should say. Let me crown... Let me crown a snowcake here. That was what I was originally gonna do. I don't need it, but I may as well take it. Dude, Blunky with the eyes? Look at my guy. He looks good as hell. This hero, this guy looks fucking terrible. Six turn timer, six attack, gain plus one. This hero looks horrible. Ooh, when hit, apply one silence to the attacker. Hey, hey. One of my groffs is just gonna get trapped, it looks like. That's I. A blank mass. A snow cake for my blunk in time. And we will send it. It should be the the summoned one. That gets silenced. Oh, I lose my barrage though. And because I'm only three, yeah yeah yeah. It's fine, I just have to pass a turn basically. Not a big deal. That's a lot of card text on these graphs. Hmm. I think I should probably kill the Ice Forge. I should have focused it first. It's it's uh I have to fix my my brain. I'm allowed to hit this guy. There is nothing wrong with hitting this boss. Well, I think that it's interesting because this fight is obviously a lot easier or no harder, sorry, harder than the normal true final boss because of my team, and it has the potential to be a real nightmare. But it's also, uh, like, computationally a lot easier. The Frost Guardian is a really hard fight to look at, I think. I'll be right back, by the way. I'm gonna take some screenshots now before I go on. All right, let's finish it up. Yeah, I just, I think that the Frost Guardian is a much, the, the base Frost Guardian is a much harder fight to look at, but a much easier fight to play. Uh, once you know it, anyway. Once you know the fight, it's a lot easier to play. It's hard when you start out, though, for sure. I don't mean to say that that fight is just easy. I think it is difficult, but it's... This is easier... What I, I guess what I'm trying to say is that this fight is easier when you're starting out with the game. Because you don't have to deal with the Frost Guardian and his effect. But once you get used to the Frost Guardian effect, that fight is actually, I think, winnable from any position. I think it's really hard to make that fight unwinnable because the enemies themselves aren't that hard. 
The hard part of that fight is when you buff the enemies with Frost Guardian, which is very easy to not do. I have 10, 15, 20. It's fine. Kind of wish I had a little Gauzy here, but I'll live. Bring him in. Rock Hog, Mega Mimic. Yeah. It's not a big deal. Rock Hog dies to my Graw, and then Mega Mimic gets frozen. Oh, I hope I don't get Uba Baird here. Oh, I didn't. I got really lucky not to get Uba Baird. That was very fortuitous for me. Two plus four. I don't really care to lose my my bird here. But what I want to do here is I want to play a freeze on Mega Mimic. Because I'm going to let Uba Bear destroy himself. Uba Bear, you are your own worst enemy here. Nice and easy. Play Jun Jun Mass. And then B Pop is. It's not quite lethal, but it's basically lethal. Uh, and then also, if I draw three Tarblades, I can do this to Bird. I did not play Shade Wisp at all, but it's the double, the double B Pop that makes it this way. Double B-Pop makes it nice and easy. Thanks, champ. At the end of the day, B-Pop is still a 1 HP summon, which is very good for Graw. Hopefully this is the last Corruption run. I think it might be. I'd be really- I'm interested to see if you just get given the Lumen Vase or if you still have to pass into it like it was before. Let's see what the next bell is. Trigger one and out. Yeah, Groff is not scary at all. Groff is not a scary ascended unit. You just kill it first. Uh, this hero is, though... Ooh. I don't love that. Wow, that wait, that hero is kind of fucked. Uh, you know, the answer to that is going to be to play Ink, but I don't want to just spam Ink runs. I don't know. Let me go look. Enemies in the Frostlands have plus one attack. Ooh, ew. And it's... Oh, you have to have the bell, I see. Oh, okay, yeah, so you have to have the prior bell to unlock the future. Okay. Plus one attack? Wow, that's gonna be annoying. I have to relearn the game, basically. Hopefully, it's probably ten. It looks like it's ten, so... Six, seven, we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.